Our goal for the Washington Journalism and Media Conference is really just to uh, have the best student leaders in the industry, uh, rising high school seniors, join us for a week here in Washington, D.C. to really network with each other and then network with industry leaders. Uh, everyone from the founder of uh, C-SPAN, Brian Lamb, to national correspondent, uh, Deputy White House Press Secretary. So they really get to network with each other, but also get a breadth of experience uh, in all different realms of journalism and media. The fact that you have so many people that you know you might see years down the road that could give you a job or send you in the right direction if you don't have the connection because I've heard a lot that it's not about what you know, it's who you know. I'm really, really thrilled to be here because there's something magical about the beginning of a long journey and I think everybody at this conference is just starting out. They've got that bright-eyed look and they're about to enter, I think, the best field in the world. If you are a journalist, you get a front row seat to history, it's, it's a blast. You want to be a journalist, you have to try to write. You have to go to things where you hear from people who are in the industry, who are writing, who are reporting, who are doing this on a day-in, day-out basis. Conferences like that let you do that, get you exposed to people you might not get exposed to otherwise, get you thinking about how you want to do things. Are you really interested in journalism? Is it print journalism? Is it web journalism? Is it broadcast journalism? Is it something totally different? Uh, so coming here, you get to think about it. You know, you can expand your mind and figure out what it is in journalism or outside of journalism that interests you. And that's, I think, the thing that I would never had as a kid that I always wished I had, which was people who did what I was interested in doing, telling me what was good about it, what was bad about it, and what it took to do it. And I think that that's such a neat, valuable experience. I didn't know what to expect coming here. I've never come to anything like this. I've always loved journalism, especially sports broadcast. That's what I'm here for. And it was really cool because I met a lot of other kids that were interested in the same thing as me. So it was really great trading ideas and kind of talking about the same things that we have in common. Um, I want to be an international correspondent and with this conference I've gotten to meet and talk with people who are in exa the exact field that I want to be in and it's a unique and powerful experience. It's not only about the industry uh, and their career goals as journalists, uh, but also it's a leadership conference. So we, we talk about careers, we talk about networking, we talk about um, what it's going to be like for internships and, and uh, the job market. So I really don't think there's any other conference that can bring together students and industry leaders um, in this way, and it's really unique. From the conference, I think I'll leave most with having a better idea of what I'd like to do once I go to school and it's helping me see that there are many options out there in journalism. This really opens your eyes to seeing all the different types there are and that you just have to work hard and it shows you all different ways so it's very helpful. You know, many of the students set up appointments with their, with their congressmen and congresswomen and uh, I know one student came back and she was so excited because she was talking uh, to her representative and he had to go to a vote. So she was able to go down the special congressional elevator with him from his office down to his train so and ride over to the Capitol with him for the vote. And it's experiences like that I think that really make this different from any number of the conferences that, that I work at and, uh, and I think any number of the conferences around the U.S. I made a bunch of new friends and I'm really sad to leave them. But I'm excited to take back everything that I've learned and like incorporate it into our schools and just like the different journal uh, aspects of journalism and like how it all works together that we can incorporate some of that into our school yearbooks, into our school newspaper and I think it'll make a big difference and a big impact. These first times in Washington matter for a lot of things including the perception you have of the city and because they've talked to a lot of people that are involved in politics and in journalism they're going to take away impressions that you don't know things that they'll be seeing for the first time. And some people will decide they don't like Washington and they'll never come back. Others will say, gee, I never thought about that. And they'll come to school here. They'll come here to work. Uh, they'll solidify in their own mind how they feel about this experience, because it is different once you get inside the bubble. And we live inside the bubble here in Washington. I have gotten a very different view of the Capitol uh, um, that I wouldn't have had if I hadn't come to this conference. Um, we, I, I've seen the city through the like politics and journalism more, rather than more of a tourist view and it's been very interesting for me. And it really gives you uh, the 
the desire to come back to Washington to be part of all the energy and um, activity in our nation's capital. We're just delighted that we um, have been able to give them these experiences and offer them this access to these incredible people in Washington. I feel like now I kind of have a better idea of where I need to go in life and I'm so grateful for that.